here on AT&T Daily News Live. Mark Cram, Les Bowen alongside, and we welcome Chaz Witherspoon in this corner. Uh, thanks for being with us. Yeah, Good thank to see you. For you. Having me. We got to point out you're going to box tonight. You actually have boxed already. Yes. But we're going to debut it tonight on Comcast Sportsnet at eight o'clock, mm -hmm. and you're going against Jonathan Hagler. Jonathan Hagler, big guy. Right. And and this is this is an amazingly exciting and dramatic fight. We're going to point out that you won. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they, but it's how you were alert. No, you know why? Because <laughs> like, you can't not give him the kudos. You That's can't right. give him the props for That's winning right. the fight. So you won the fight, but it's how you won the fight. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty exciting fight, and uh, it was actually funny because when we were sitting there, we had uh, the the people were really close to the ring, and I could see everybody's face at, while we were fighting, and everybody looked nervous and scared, and everybody was apprehensive about what was going on. Like everybody was really, really nervous. So I, I was able to see that, and I, I was calm because I knew I had a game plan. So I was sticking to my game plan, and. Uh, Unfortunately, I didn't have any tape on the guy, mm -hmm. and uh, you really don't like fighting somebody who's 18 and one and not having any footage on them, so you can come up with like a strategy. So I just was trying to fill him out. And how rare is that? You don't have tape on a guy. Uh, unfortunately, for my career, it's been often that I don't have <laughs> Did tape you have on somebody. a scouting somebody. report from somebody? Or the scouting report you know? that I got was one. You that know, I put if he's left-handed or something, yeah, he's right? a southpaw. Yeah. And That's one, thing, one thing I want to tell people is I actually I have a I have a really good jab. But I wasn't able to really show it like that in this fight because a southpaw kind of neutralizes your jab because mm -hmm. his lead hand is where your lead hand is. No, we, we, we fixed that up in the tape. Okay. Oh, your, hey. oh, your jab's lightning tonight. Beautiful. It's yeah, fantastic. Right. Yeah. But here's the, you hit him all the time. He didn't hit you once. It's, yeah. a, it's a miracle of editing. Oh, so you <laughs> wow. Did the victor go to the spoils? All right, how about this? We should point out, you went to St. Joseph's? St. Do you have Joseph's a degree? Jersey. I'm a hawk. The hawk will never die. Mm-hmm. Not only that, but you played hoop. You were recruited by three Division One schools to play basketball. Yeah, but they they were uh, on the West Coast, and um, I'm a family man, mm -hmm. so I wanted to stay close to my family. So I had the opportunity to send uh, attend St. Joe's on uh, academic money. So I ended up going to St. Joe's on academic money. That's incredible. And, and what did you major in? Pharmaceutical marketing. And uh, while I was there, um, I, I made the Olympic team, and St. Joe's uh, afforded me the opportunity to take a leave of absence, go to Greece, and take all the Olympic stuff, and then come right back, and I, I finished up a semester behind. That's it. So uh, St. Joe's is a great university. They, they, they did everything they could to, you know, make it happen. Wow. All right, we're on that. it. Yeah. And we're on it. And, and, uh, you dress better than Martelli, though, I, I got to huh? say. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> that's, not, that's not right, because Phil took it on the chin. Were you at the game? Did no, no, it? but I seen it. Yeah, it I watched it. Yeah, it, it, it was tough. How'd you get into the whole thing, though? Boxing. The boxing. Uh, and, and, what, and why not extreme boxing? I mean, that's getting a lot of attention. A lot of guys are getting into that. <laughs> look at the hold look. on. <laughs> no, those really, guys. I, mean, I know. You know, I, those cage matches. And I, I know what you're talking about. I, and people say the boxers are crazy, but I think those guys are crazy because uh, those gloves are tiny. Our gloves are tiny enough. It's not a lot of padding in our gloves. It looks like but it really, is. Really, you know, boxing is just not violent enough. You know. If you say so, I mean, I mean that's that's easy as a spectator to say. I'm just kidding. But uh, no, boxing is painful. I mm -hmm. tell everybody. I mean, it's a painful sport, and I don't recommend it to people to come into as a profession. But as far as for a workout or to get in shape, it's, it's you, you'll be in the best shape of your life. But as far as something to do for a living to get paid to do, I don't recommend that to everybody because it's not for everybody. But what do you like answer, about it? What do I like about it? I like the fact that. Your individual effort shows forth because I'm somebody who works really hard. I do all the extra stuff. I go the extra mile. I run the extra laps. I, I'm, I'm going to my strength and conditioning trainer five in the morning, Jeff Goldstein uh, in Newtown, PA. I'm going up to him five in the morning. So I wake up at 3:40 to drive all the way up there from South Jersey, drive all the way up there to do the strength and conditioning training. So I'm training twice. We're keeping you up right now. I'm sorry. Not actually. You know I, mean? <laughs> I got to stay up and watch the fight. <laughs> there you how, go. how far do you want to take this, and what do you want to get out of it? Do you have a set goal in your mind? Do you want to say, by this point, I want to do this, and I want to get out? Um, well, I, I definitely know I don't want to be in boxing anytime past, uh, I would say, 33, you know. Um, but my goal in this is to become the best boxer I can be because I'm a natural athlete, so I'm developing to a boxer now, but I'm more athletic than anything. And uh, I know if I work hard and become the best boxer that I can be, with uh, my intelligence behind it and and strategizing, I really believe that I can gain a title and maybe even unify a couple titles 
and make a lot of money while I'm doing it. You nice. know, that's definitely Sounds it. Like Chaz, th thanks for being with us. Really appreciate it. By the way, cousin of Terrible Tim with a spoon. Uh, I, I want to, I got to say props to, uh, to a, some students out of Bethel Springs Elementary School in the Garnet Valley School District today because uh, Ms. Maggie Ellis asked me to come out and speak because it's Read Across America Day. There I am in the middle of the second grade class, uh, but I wasn't the only one because Ike Reese came. There's Ike. I came out as well at Bethel Springs and, um, and read to the kids as well. Ike read to the fifth grade. There's Ike and the cat in the hat. Hat! And it was a great time at Bethel Springs Elementary School. So thanks a lot, kids, for having us. Thanks to Mark. Thanks to Les. Thanks to Chaz. Thanks to Damo. Thanks to all of our guests. Coming up, Wachovia Sports Night. Good night.